Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'm Jason Sayers. Thanks for stopping by once again. Um, today I got a couple of requests for Kai Hato, the drummer from Nightwish. Now I'm a big fan of Nightwish, but, but I'm a huge Taja fan. I'm not too keen on the new singer. Had to be said. Sorry, didn't mean to offend anyone, but it's my personal opinion. I preferred Taja in the band. Thought she had better operatic vocals. But today we're not talking about vocals. We are talking about the drummer. And what a drummer this guy is. You know, thank you so much for the recommendation. Um, after you mentioned the track, I was like, okay, I'll check it out quickly. Usually I don't do that. And I literally watched the first... 30 seconds and i was like i need to make this video so we're, we're gonna go straight for it so this is kai hato as you can tell from here he is playing weak fantasy and thank you so much for recommending this i will um link your name down below for the recommendations thank you so much anyway let's jump into the video nice big gong Oh, those double strokes. <laughs> I, I wish I had a foot cam on this one just so I could see his feet uh, just at the end of the, the double strokes on the hand there because that sounded very clean. Oh, that's just gone. Okay, controversial. Is that Portnoy feels? Or Neil Pert. Because there's a bit of confusion with me on that one. I believe they're Mike Portnoy fills. But one of you commented on my last video when I mentioned it was a Mike Portnoy fill. And went, no, it's a Neil Pert fill. And I was like, okay. But I don't know. So leave a comment down below. Okay, that was a Portnoy fill. A hundred percent. Love the fire. That's got to be really off-putting as a drummer. This is so nice to hear a metal band playing live and the kicks are consistent without the use of a trigger. I know triggers get slammed quite a bit. Um, they they have their uses, definitely. Um, they also have their place in certain genres. But it's so nice to hear a metal band not using them. Or if they are using them, we are hearing the raw drums right now, 100%. Because you can hear the tonal differences between the two bass drums. And the consistency he's getting you would not get without using triggers usually um this is just a very good player you can tell because every stroke is it has the same power but there is dynamics behind it so he's he's got a lot a lot of control and he's definitely been practicing this for many years i mean he's been in nightwish for lord knows how long um but yeah so far you've you've got to agree with me it's quite impressive I like the bell on that ride symbol. Just so relaxed and chilled. That's how you do it. Tom Groove. Oh, he's got an auxiliary hi hat. 
that'd be why i was like i just heard him splash a high hat and didn't see his left foot do it so then when it cuts to this angle i now see it on the right hand side there Nice little skip. Onto the upbeat, very nice. Very good. I quite like this song groove. Oh, that was clean. That was very clean. Going back to the, the kick drum where I said there's no triggers, um, there's a slight imperfection, a slight latency to the left foot, which is just perfect. It's human. It's not being overdubbed. You know, you've just got a really good drummer, playing the bass drum and there's a slight little bit of latency on the left foot as they usually would be and for me that's the sign of a good drummer Whoa, 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 whoa. How is he opening and closing that hi-hat whilst playing double bass? He must be doing, his left foot must be alternating between the left pedal, or is it slightly closed? It doesn't look like he's got one of those um, clamps on top of the hi-hat that keep it, like, just closed enough. I'm going to go back a little bit, because it's a shame it's not on his feet at this point. I mean, I might, I might be wrong on that point. It might be that it's just a very quick hi-hat cutout, but it definitely sounds to me like he's choking it with his left foot. So his left foot must be going from the right-hand side to the, to the hi-hat pedal. So left pedal, left bass drum pedal to left hi-hat pedal to close it each time. Actually, that could kind of work, but I just, I wish I could see a foot cam of what he was actually doing there because I think that would have been quite impressive. There's a man that enjoys this job. It's got to be so off-putting to play live with that going off in front of your face. Oh wow, that was good. I like that one. Wow. 
That must have been quite a spectacle live to watch. Oh wow, that would really put me off if I could hear that through my in ears because it's just not in time with those uh, smoke or air cannons blowing out there. Oh, that would really put me off. That was quite the performance. Thank you so much for recommending that video to me. Um, thanks for stopping by once again. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to give the video a quick thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And there's a little bell icon if you don't want to miss any future videos that I put out. Um, I do drum reaction videos here mainly. I'm going to be working on some newer stuff in the future. Um, might bring out some tips and tricks or something. I'm still trying to work out you know the the channel's main direction at the moment it seems to be drum reactions because that's all i've managed to do at the minute but you seem to be liking them so if you're watching them and you're not subscribed it does help me i promise you um check out all the videos that are on your screen right now and thank you for stopping by once again and see you guys soon